today we'll be talking some more about the AIM PDM and exactly what it does and how you might want to spec it out if you're planning on ordering it. The PDM module replaces all of the fuses and relays in the vehicle, giving you the ability to monitor a current, inrush current, and a bunch of other really cool things that you wouldn't get to do with a normal fuse box. It gives you the ability to go back and look if there is in fact a fault on one of your power output channels and diagnose from there. So the PDM itself, there are two versions of it. There's an eight channel and a 32 channel. The eight channel is definitely a lot more IO limited, but if you have a very tight space to squeeze it into, or if you're looking at putting one, you know, let's say at the rear of the vehicle, and a larger 32 channel up at the front of the vehicle. That allows you the IO of the 32 channel, but the added benefit of not having super long wire runs that you might have if you consolidated it all down to one unit. Other cool functions include basic black boxes, if you will. These could be predefined things such as your windshield wiper control or blinkers. And then there's also the ability to configure much more sophisticated channels we can in fact PWM a cooling fan with the PDM or PWM a fuel pump and also tie that in to the ECU. So if for instance we see the RPM dip below 700 RPM for more than four seconds, it turns the fuel pump off as an added safety measure. So now that we've talked about some of the specs of the PDM, let's talk about the driver interface. There's two main options when dealing with the screen size if you're going to order one of these. There's a 6 inch and a 10 inch display. Larger might not always be better. In one of our smaller kit cars, we actually have a 6 inch screen tied in with the steering column. So when you tilt or telescope the wheel, it actually stays perfectly in view through the steering wheel. Some of the larger screens might get cut off in some applications. You might have limited visibility on like the corners of the screens. Um, another uh, thing to take into account is whether or not you want the race version or the street version. The race version just has uh, generic LED warning lights. The street version has some nice, you know, street oriented uh, warning symbols. So it's got like some turn signals, fuel gate or uh, fuel level warning and, uh, and some other things that you might want in a street driven dash. After you pick a screen size, then you're going to have to determine how you want to interface with the module. We usually use CAN keypads, however, they do have a button expander. If you're more into the old school tactile feel of like switches and buttons and like turnstocks, we can also wire that in as well. Some other really cool driver aids include GPS functionality. Integrated into the PDM comes a predictive lap timer to help you avoid pesky penalties. And then also there's a backup cam for when you are after the race maneuvering your vehicle, trying to load it up. It just gives you a little bit more peace of mind that there's nothing behind you.